Yo, what's up, man? What's up? This is K Solo. And let me tell you, man, it's, it's, life is crazy, man. Life is fucking crazy. I'm thinking that my man died. I'm thinking that my man went to jail and he fucking died. And the dude is alive. The dude is alive. He calls me yesterday. He calls me yesterday and I'm so fucking happy. I'm fucking, I'm crying happy. I'm crying because I was happy. I was crying because I was so fucking happy to hear my voice, to hear my voice voice. You know, I'm over here thinking to myself, when I first heard about this shit, when that dude, so-called fake-ass Harry Houdini calls me, telling me, yo, it's me, Solo, Harry. You used to call me Harry Houdini. And I'm like, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm like, yeah, okay. They tell me, yo, see, Biscuit got locked up. Beautiful. I didn't pay no mind to that. Two weeks later, two days, three days ago, he texts me back. Yo, it's me, Harry Houdini. See, Biscuit died in prison. I'm, a, I'm like, how the fuck? He didn't answer me. He said, I'm going to give you his wife's number. Remember, I met his wife here and there. But I never spoke to her, you know, never spoke to her because that's my wife's, that's my boy's wife. And I'm a dude that I don't respect to no girl that's married to one of my boys. No, that's impossible. I don't talk to them. Now, if I would know her very well, that I could say the name, but I didn't know her name. I did not even know C. Biscuit's name, man. And that's swear to God, I didn't know his name, his real name. He knew everything about me. He knows C. Biscuit knows more things about me than anybody else. He knows my secrets. He knows things that I has done. And he's the only one that I has told these things. So, you know, how can you not believe something that the man says his, his boy's name, Harry Houdini, he mentioned C. Biscuit's wife, but he didn't say by name because I didn't know her name. He could have told me any name. I never knew C. Biscuit's wife's name or his name until yesterday that he called me. I have done three videos I did one yesterday morning, one yesterday afternoon, and the one that I called Pain. And then I did another one when I hanged up with Pain. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like about 15, 20 minutes, he calls me. I see a private phone call. At first, I'm like, no, that can't be Seabiscuit. Because Seabiscuit so far been calling me private. And I can't understand why he's calling me private. I told him this yesterday. If you would have been calling me with your telephone number, I would have called you to find out what's going on. He said that his cousin was the one that told him about the things that I was saying, that he passed away. He even told him, he said, yo, some dude named Harry told him. And the only Harry that he knows, that his brother, I mean, that his cousin knows, is Harry Houdini. Whoever did that shit must have been down with us, must have been in, in the internet with us. He, you fuck around, you don't know who fucking did this. It could have been somebody that was close to us because the motherfucker dropped it down. The niggas like tell me the last thing that he says that damn, he lost his mother a month ago. You know, say now I lost my best friend. My best, best friend. He now his two daughters and his son. The dude even know that C Biscuit had two daughters and a son. 
He knew where he lived at. And I'm not going to tell you guys this, but he knew where the fuck he lived at. So if I went for it, if I went for it, it's because I cared. Bro, you guys know, man, for two days I'm fucking crying my ass off. I finally caught some fucking sleep. I finally ate something yesterday. No, this morning. See, Biscuit calls me to tell me, yo, Latin Pain uh, did a new show. He's coming out. He's coming back in eight hours. And he's calling it Sea Biscuit Rise from the Dead. Being honest to you, I don't give a fuck what pain called the title. I don't give a damn about that. What I give a fuck about is that I'm fucking worried. I was fucking crying. The last time I cried like that when my two brothers died, bro. How can anybody out there take advantage of somebody and having that person literally, bro, I suffer, like you guys know, I suffer from bad, serious panic attacks, anxiety attacks. I call like four of them when I found out that, that he so-called went to jail. That was like three weeks ago. Then I called like four of them the day that they told me that he died. I wish my wife, I wish my wife would come in here, man, but she's too shy. She would tell you because she was there with me in the store. Her, her boss, and two friends of mine that was there. They saw me crying. They said, Solo, what's going on? Solo, what's going on? And I told them, yo, man, my fucking man is dead. I cried like a fucking baby, man. Send the fucking, send the three hundred and fifty dollars, and another hundred dollars that this guy sent me. I did not send that hundred dollars yet. I was gonna send it today, but I'm not. I'm sending it back to homeboy, to the kid. That sent me a hundred dollars for me, bro. He sent me fifty one time. Then he sent me another fifty, and then he sent me another hundred, and 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 that was for me to collect to give to make four hundred and fifty dollars. Like that, I could send it on on the cash app. Say, yo, listen, this is my cash app. Blah blah. Give me your cash app, and I'm gonna send it to you, like I did with the three hundred and fifty dollars. You know something? I don't wish nobody. I don't wish nobody bad, man. I really don't. But for those people who did that shit, I hope and pray that these motherfuckers die slowly. I pray that these motherfuckers die slowly for what they did to me. I went on fucking Latin Pain show. Because I needed to talk to somebody who I know who was familiar with, 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 with CB, who been in my show, who was on my show, who he talked to. I needed a fucking shoulder to cry on, bro. See, Biscuit calls me. And it hurts me when he said, when he said, Yo, Solo, you did this for money? How fucking dare you, man? How fucking dare you say that to me, see? Obviously, the love that I got for you, man, as my brother, I, I see that you don't have that love for me. But with all that, man, I'm still your fucking boy. I still, I'm... You still got me, man. I, I'm you, you in my heart. But if you don't have that same feeling for me, man, as 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 loving me as a as a good friend, well, I don't need no love then. 
If you cannot give me you your all like I do, I think I'm think I'm doing something wrong. I said it many times and I didn't kept the shit no secret. See, Biscuit looked out for me. He looked out for me many times, just like he looked out for a lot of these fucking clowns. And where are they now? Where are all these fucking guys that he donated money to? I even told him about Mario. That Mario told me that C Biscuit bought him something. I'm going to tell you guys something right now, and I want you guys to listen to this, man. I'm not on fucking YouTube to fucking bump for money. But I felt that dudes that have been riding with me since for three years now, who I've been giving you guys good stories, real stories, real fucking stories, because my stories ain't fucking made up. I don't get my stories from a Cracker Jack's box. Not like a lot of these motherfuckers that do. And a lot of these motherfuckers has copied from me. But I don't get mad. All that does is make me get stronger. And to have a person who I call my brother, my best friend, doubting me. Doubting me. The nerves to tell me if I did this for money. Bro, can't you see your motherfucker's broken? Don't you, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm not that much a fucking actor, bro. But now I know better, man. Now I fucking know better. That's what I gotta fucking say, man. Now I know better. <laughs>